7 Biblical Ways to Overcome Temptation Sin is part of our lives as members of the fallen human race, and Satan, our enemy, has been tempting humanity since Adam and Eve were placed by God in the Garden of Eden. Although Satan's power over us, believers of Jesus Christ, was defeated at the cross of Christ, he still tries to tempt us to sin to separate us from God. In 1 Corinthians 10, 13, the Bible assures us that we can overcome temptation. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you can endure. Here are seven biblical ways to overcome temptation. 1. Avoid. Be aware of your weaknesses and avoid places or situations where you can be tempted to sin. James 1, 14 says, Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. 2. Flee. Once you recognize that you are being tempted, turn your back, and do not look back. Follow the example of Joseph in Genesis 39, 12, who ran away from Potiphar's wife, who seduced him. 3. God's Word. Jesus rebuked the temptation of Satan in the wilderness with quotations from the scripture. This event was recorded in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. 4. Pray. Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, 13 to pray that God would not let us yield to temptation but rescue us from the evil one. 5. Watch out. 1 Peter 5. 8 reminds us, stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. 6. Resist. James 4. 7 advises, so humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Only through God's power, in the name of Jesus, can we resist the devil, and he will flee from us. 7. Gear up. Ephesians 6, 11-13 prompt us, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle you will still be standing firm.